Today's Bible lesson is the triumphal entry. It is in the book of Luke chapter 19 verses 28 to 40. This lesson will start leading us up to the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Students have completed their math workbook. Now I will begin to attach a daily math worksheet that students can work on loose leaf paper. They will be graded daily for it. So you could have them work the problems either on the paper or on a loose leaf paper and you can turn that in with your daily assignments every day. Today in writing students will complete their copy work exercise in their workbooks. Our story this week is Little House on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. After students complete their copy work of their page, I will have a picture of four sentences that they could write on the back of the page that they could write correctly on the back of the page. Here is the board work for today's phonics lesson. So in black, I have some special sounds. Sometimes in class, I will put special sounds on the board and students have to give me words. With that special sound, they cannot give you the clue word, which means the word that is on the phonics chart. They have to give you their own word that they make up on their own that goes with that special sound. So after they complete that, today we are learning special sound U-R-E that says you're like in cure and T-U-R-E that says chur like in pasture. So usually I have them circle the special sound in the new word and then they say the word. And so you can practice doing that. Today you can do workbook pages 136. Today's reading pages are pages 84 to 91. This week in spelling, we are on list 27. This is a sight word review list. We have no Greek and Latin words this week, and the spelling test will be on Thursday of this week. This week in language, we are doing a review on nouns. So to review the definition of a noun is, a noun is a name of a person, place, thing, or idea. You could have students practice orally saying that. You could also have them practice writing it as well. So today we will focus on what's called a common noun. So a common noun means that it's a noun that anyone can be named this or any place can have this name. And there are many people or many places that have this name. So today we will focus on common nouns of persons and places. And so common means that there are many different ones. It's not a particular one. It's not the special name of something. So it's called common because it here I have a list of common names of persons and common names of places, meaning that many of these people or many of these places have this name. It's not the particular name of the person and not the particular name, special name of the place. So it's considered a common noun. There are many people with this name and there are many places with this name. So you and students can review the list together. They could orally give you a few examples of their own as well. This week in social studies, we are leaving the continent of Africa and we are going to a new continent. We are visiting the continent of Asia on this week. This is actually the largest continent out of the seven and we will be going to a place called Israel. This is a close up of the land of Israel, the promised land. And so it's actually a lot bigger, but on the map, it seems small. And students can read their workbook pages today on the country of Israel. And so they will read about the Sea of Galilee, about the city of Jerusalem. On tomorrow, I will do an oral review of Israel where I'll have more facts about the land. Um, Tests will be on Thursday this week. This week in science, students will learn about the last season, which is fall. They could read their pages on today. The test will be on Thursday.